Okay, so in this tutorial we're just going to take a quick look at a way of preparing laser cut files to create this uh, three-dimensional solid. The way we're going to go about it is with a plugin for Rhino 4. In Rhino 5 this is actually built in, but the plugin is called Section Tools. If you want to go ahead and go online, uh, if you Google search ArtCut Rhino, the first link is going to be what you need. Uh, ArtCut became Section Tools as it gained more features. Uh, here's some information about it. There's actually tutorial videos. Which are, which are great resources, uh, but we want to download for Rhino 4. So if we click this link, you can enter your email or you can leave that blank and you click download now. I've already gone ahead and done that, so I'm going to close this. Uh, back in Rhino, you just have to type plugin manager. Uh, plugin manager will bring up this dialog box here and you can click install and navigate to wherever that plugin you downloaded is. For me, it was just the desktop, so I've installed it and you'll see this new uh, menu come up, Section Tools. Uh, so this box here is a 4 by 4 inch by 4 inch by 2 inch box with uh, some deformed top. Uh, and I know that I want to take many, many cuts of this that I could then lay out, laser cut, and recompile back together. Uh, the analogy I give is thinking that I've baked a piece of bread, a large loaf of bread, and I want to cut it into slices. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to come up to Section Tools, and there's lots of different options. The ones we're mo con most concerned with is the creating and the layouts. Uh, creating a single section won't do us much good. We want to create an array of sections. And later, we don't want a single layout. We want a nested layout, so we see all of our sections. So I'm going to create an array uh, of this object. Enter. And I can see here that I already have you know, where some of the cuts will be. If I came down into a different orientation, I'd be cutting you know, up and down along the Z. Uh, same here. In the top, um, I'm right now in the Y. I can change that direction by clicking here uh, on the direction of the object. So here's here's actually the in the Y. Uh, here's the X. Uh, I can say how many sections I want, but more importantly is my spacing. I know that I want to cut this out of uh, one eighth inch chipboard, so I could enter 0.125 inches. That's an eighth of an inch. So now I have uh, you know, the correct depth, but I know that I need many more of them. So I can actually go overboard, I'm going to say 65 sections, and that's more than enough to cut through it. Um, so now what I want to do is, is to come in and actually snap this to my object. So I'm going to turn on my O-snap, and now I can say that one of the sections is going to be directly on the face of the object, which is important, else you'll get a, a skewed kind of recomposition when we combine all these sections. Something I might also want to do is flip the direction of the section. So I can clip, flip, and now it's going the other way. So this way makes sense to me. Uh, and I'll click, and I'll notice it starts making tons of sections and new layers here. And in a second, I'll see all those sections cut through my object. There we go. Uh, you can kind of read the undulation of the surface much better now. Rhino understands uh, that there are sections attributed to this, this being section 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. Uh, so in my top view now, I want to come back to section tools and create a nested layout. Uh, I'm going to use all of my sections, so I select all, say OK. Uh, I have a couple different options that are available to me. Uh, right now these are going to be horizontal with a spacing of 0, or, or sorry, a spacing of 1. And that will work. Uh, I'd have kind of different joints, uh, a little a gap between each piece. Uh, but knowing that I want to be efficient with my laser cutting, I can actually change my spacing to zero. So these things will touch each other um, from left to right. So I'm going to click the first one. It lays them all out. And I can see here, when I were to laser cut that, it would give me both. So that's nice. Uh, currently, they're um, all joined which is you know perfect, that's exactly what we need, we would see that we, we would have an issue here laser cutting. The laser would cut along this long piece and then the small piece. But later when we move into AutoCAD, uh, we will be able to clean that up. Uh, I know the laser bed I'm working on is uh, 18 by 32, so I'm going to draw a rectangle that's 18 inches by 32 inches. Uh, that's the wrong orientation, so I'll just simply rotate it. 